would be there late. We would be lining up at the door for a chance to speak to her or even just to have a glimpse of her. An hour to spare, we would be there. We vow to God that we will be there. We will be there to, su to support the word of God. Yet he is coming second place to the things that are around us. In Malachi 1 and verses 13 to 14, You also say, oh, what a weariness. And you sneer at it, says the Lord of hosts. And you bring the stolen, the lame and the sick. Thus you bring an offering. Should I accept this from your hand, says the Lord. But cursed be the deceiver who has in his flock a male and takes a vow but sacrifices to the Lord what is blemished. For I am a great king, says the Lord of hosts, and my name is to be feared among the nations. So let me translate this. We do not sacrifice animals, but we dedicate our lives to God and are we giving him the best or are we giving him lame excuses? When we take up a position in the church, do we give it our best or do we make excuses or leave it for someone else? There's plenty of deacons. There's plenty of deaconesses. They won't miss me if I am late. They won't miss me if I'm late to take a Sabbath school class. They won't miss me. But each year, we have a group of people who vow before not only ourselves but before God that they will do a duty. I'm not pointing the finger at anybody but it's, 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 a, it's a fact. We vow to God that we're going to spread his word. But we put it on the back seat. We look at tithes and offerings as only concerning money. We make vows when we are baptised, we agree to positions within church and never fulfil our obligations, yet we have entered the, these agreements with God and amongst witnesses. It is becoming easier and more easier in this society to walk away from our responsibilities. We teach our children from a very young age, it doesn't matter. There are no consequences for a child's actions. I will do this, they don't do it, we fob it off. We keep on asking them. And sooner or later, they learn that it's okay not to do what you should be doing. It's okay not to have respect for somebody's belongings, to have respect for a parent. And as we grow up, it becomes okay to not have respect for God. But I just want to share with you some writings from a book titled Councils on Stewardship. And it says, When a verbal or written pledge has been made in the presence of our brethren to give a certain amount they are the visible witnesses of a contract made between ourselves and God. The pledge is not made to man, but to God. And it is, is as a written note given to a neighbour. No legal bond is more binding upon a Christian for the payment of money than a pledge made to God. It goes on to write, this is on page uh, 315 of Council, Councils on Stewardship. A vow made to God, the giver of all favours, is still of greater importance 
is of still greater importance, then why should we seek to be released from our vows to God? Will man consider his promise less binding because it was made to God? Because his vow will not be put to trial in courts of justice? Is it less valid? Will a man who professes to be saved by the blood of the infinite sacrifice of Jesus Christ rob God? Are not his vows and his actions weighed in the balance of justice in the heavenly courts? This morning is not my thing to make you feel guilty. If you're feeling guilty or something is going through your conscience, it is not me. The Holy Spirit is talking to you. You may be reminded of things that you have done or that is happening in your life now. He is talking to you now. On the flip side, if there is a voice saying to you, no, you know when uh, you vowed to, uh, to do this and you didn't do it, don't worry about it. It makes no difference. You're okay. I'm here to tell you that voice is not from God. That voice is from Satan and he knows exactly what the consequences are of when we make a vow to God, if we break it, he knows exactly what those consequences are and he wants you to break it because he doesn't want you to have faith in God. He doesn't want you to be connected to God. He doesn't want the word of God to go forward. And if we pledge money, we pledge our time, we pledge our labour, the word of God will just go through this country like it's never been done before. He does not want that to happen. Each of us has a case pending in the court of heaven. Shall our course of conduct balance the evidence against us? The case of Ananias and Sapphira was, the most was of the most aggravated character. In keeping back part of the price, they lied to the Holy Ghost. Guilt likewise rests upon every individual in proportion to like offences. When the hearts of men are softened by the presence of the Holy Spirit, they are more susceptible to the impressions. Sorry, when, when the hearts of men are softened by the presence of God, they are more susceptible to the Holy Spirit and resolves are made to deny self and to sacrifice to the cause of God. It is when divine light shines into the chambers of the mind with unusual clearness and power that the feelings of the natural person are overcome that selfishness loses its power upon the heart and that the, and those desires are awakened to imitate the pattern of jesus christ in practicing self-denial and benevolence the disposition of the naturally selfish man then becomes kind and pitiful towards lost sinners and he makes a solemn pledge to god as did abraham and jacob Heavenly angels are present on such occasions. The love of God and the love of souls triumphs over selfishness and love of the world. Especially is this the case when the speaker in the spirit and power of God presents the plan of redemption laid by the majesty of heaven in the sacrifice of the cross. There must be an awakening among us as a people upon this matter. There are but few men who feel conscious stricken if they neglect their duty and benefice, but few feel remorseful of soul because they are daily robbing God. As I said, we started with Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verses 1 to 5, and we're going to finish with those verses. 